Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, we are going to look at the uh, application of product moments and we're going to find the covariance of x and y when they are continuous uh, random variables. So right now, uh, what we have is the joint probability density, which is given by this um, whole expression right here. And um, in order to find the covariance, we need to apply this formula. We have expected value of xy minus ex multiplied with ey. And we're going to start off our discussion by finding this value right here. <coughs> okay, expected value of xy according to what we have seen before is just uh, involving the double integral. Where you take this term and you multiply that right with fxy and fxy is equal to 2 and you're going to integrate that with respect to dx and dy and we need to find or we need to insert the limits associated with x and y and in order to do that um, these are the limits and maybe perhaps it is better if we visualize this whole area here so that we can determine the limits properly okay <clears throat> okay, let's say that this is um, our x-axis and this is our y-axis. So if you talk about this line where x is greater than 0, this is the inequality. So we are looking at the area where x is greater than 0. Well, you know at this point 0, uh, this is, uh, we can say that this is the line that corresponds to uh, x equals to zero yeah so if you talk about uh, x greater than zero then you are talking about all this region region from this point onwards this region okay so this is uh, the region where x is going to be greater than zero <coughs> next if you talk about y greater than zero well this is also inequality and so if you have uh, this line this line here corresponds to exactly y equals to zero so if you want to talk about this region where y is greater than zero that means you're talking about this region here from this line towards uh, you know upwards okay so that's the region finally um what we're going to consider is this one we have x plus y is less than 1 so okay i'm just going to write down here x plus y is less than 1 this is an inequality so we know that y is less than 1 minus x and if you want it uh, to consider uh, you can consider constructing a line where y is less than 1 minus x and we know that this line here can be constructed when you have the intercept at 1 so this is the intercept at 1 and then when 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 y is zero, so if you substitute y equals to zero, if when y is zero, therefore you can see that zero is equal to one minus x, therefore x is equal to one. So when y is zero, x is one, and we've got this line right here. So this is the line exactly. This line here represents y is equal to one minus x. So this is the line of y equals 1 minus x. But we are looking at this, this part right here. This inequality says you want the value of y such that it is less than or 1 minus x. Therefore, we are looking at this area. Okay, so this area. All right. Okay. Um, right. I'm just going to erase this part. Okay. Okay, so when you talk about the whole item right here, this whole thing given here, uh, the area represented by all these three inequalities are given by uh, this little triangle. So this is the area associated with all the three inequalities considered together. Okay, so based on that, uh, we can see that if you you want to talk about your limit <clears throat> limit for x okay so limit for x we can see that for 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 with respect to x variable we can see it starts from x equals to zero okay until this line okay for x 
So this is the limit for x. Okay, so we're going to start at x, 0. And for this one, uh, we know that this line is uh, y equals to 1 minus x. Now we're going to let x to be the subject. So therefore, x is equal to uh, 1 minus y. And so this is the upper limit. This is the lower limit. x is equal to 0. And the upper limit is going to be x is equal to 1 minus y. So that's the limit for x. And then uh, for y, the limit for y is, you can see for, for, for y-axis, we start with this one. Okay, y is uh, going to be 0. So this is the limit. And then uh, for y, it will be at this uh, at this point okay so it's it's going to be y equals to one so that's the limit yeah okay um and once you have obtained the limit you can start off with uh, doing the integration process okay that's what we're going to do um so right now we have uh, 2, 2 is a constant, we can take it out, put it outside. And here we've got xy, dx, dy. And y is considered to be a constant because right now we're going to just focus on uh, integrating the inner part. So we're going to focus on integrating this part. Right now, uh, the answer to that is going to be, if you integrate uh, x, so y is a constant, yeah? It doesn't depend on x. So if you integrate x, it, you will get x squared over 2 times with y. y is a constant. And then uh, put on the limit, 1 minus y is 0, dy, okay? And then um, this is what we're going to get. We're going to evaluate this at the limits given here. So we have uh, 1 minus y, we square it, and then times with y. And notice that this part can be cancelled out, 2 and 2. So those are the constants, you can cancel it out. And of course, if you substitute 0 into this expression here, you will get 0. So this is the final version of our result. Okay. Next, um, we're just going to expand this and multiply with y. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so if you expand this, it's going to be 1 minus 2y plus y squared uh, multiplied with y dy. And this becomes um, y minus 2y squared plus y cubed dy. I'm running out of space. And the result of this is going to be y squared over 2 minus 2y cubed over 3. And this one right here. And you're going to substitute uh, the value of 1 and 0 into this expression that you got. And um, since I'm running out of space, I'm just going to give you the answer to this one. And the answer is going to be 1 over 12. So you can try it on your own and make sure you get the answer for expected value of xy is 1 over 12. Okay? So that's it. Now, um, we are going to, so, so this one, axy, the answer is 1 over 12. So our next job is to find uh, this value, expected value of ax. Okay, so um, notice that in order to find the expected value of x, this is the same thing as having the expected value of x to the power of 1, y to the power of 0. Now, by doing this, I can just use uh, the same process of double integral that you have seen right here. And I'm just going to apply uh, this item right next to uh, fxy, which is 2 dx dy. Okay, so by doing this, I don't need to resort to finding the marginal distribution or marginal density of x. Okay, so I'm just going to use the the joint probability density that's already given right there, okay? Now, the limit is going to be the same with what you have seen just now. It's going to be um, 0, 1 minus y, and for this one is 0 and, and 1. 
So 2 is a constant. You can take it out. I'll put it outside. This is 0, 1, minus y. And of course, this can be simplified as just x. dx, dy. Okay. Mm. Next, what we have is we're just going to integrate that with respect to x. Okay, we're just going to focus on integrating the inner part first. So this is what we're going to do. And the result of that is uh, 2, this is 1, 0, x squared over 2. And the limit is 1 minus y and 0 dy. And you can see that this can be cancelled out. Okay, And uh, we're just going to substitute 1 minus y into x. Uh, so we have 1 minus y, we square it. If you substitute 0, you get 0. So this is the uh, simplified version already. And i uh, just going to expand it. So we have 1 minus 2y plus y squared. And integrate that expression, you will get y minus this guy plus this one. Okay. Cancel, cancel. And the answer to this is going to be 1 minus 1 plus um, 1 over 3. So final answer is 1 over 3 for the value of ex. Okay, uh, we're going to do the same process to find the value of y, expected value of y, okay? So this one is uh, 1 over 3, we managed to get it the result already. So now we're going to find what's EY. EY, uh, as you can see, can actually be written as EX to the power of 0, Y to the power of 1. And so when you have X and Y together, um, technically you can uh, resort to having this double integral where you consider this item right next to the joint probability density and the joint probability density is equal to 2. So I'm just going to use the the same idea which you have seen in, in finding the expected value of xy. If you don't want to apply this then you need to to find what's the marginal distribution of x or marginal distribution of y. Okay, Right, um, now the limits is going to be uh, similar to what you have seen before so this is 1 minus y this one is 0 and 1 and then 2 is a constant we can uh, consider putting it outside 0 and here can be simplified to just y dx and dy and we are going to focus on integrating the inner part first this one okay so the result of that is going to be um, y is considered as a constant because it doesn't depend on, on x so uh, the result of that is going to be y x y x and this is 1 minus y 0 dy and you're just going to um, substitute this one okay you're going to substitute uh, x with 1 minus y yeah and um, what you have is so this one 1, 1 minus y. And if you substitute 0 into x, the result is going to be 0. That's the that that's the only thing uh, that we have. I mean we have simplified that expression already. So now we have y minus y squared dy. And then um oops, sorry. And then what we have next is we can uh, consider integrating this expression. So you will get 2 y squared over 2 minus y cubed over 3, 1 and 0. And substitute the limits accordingly. So we have 2, 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3. And of course, if you substitute 0, you will get 0. So that is already the simplified version that we have. And then um, if you consider uh, this, the result here is going to be 1 over 3 as well. Okay, uh, and we are not done yet because our job is actually to find the covariance of 
x and y and the covariance of x and y is the expected value of x y minus dx dot dy okay and the result of e x y is <coughs> 1 over 12 so this is 1 over 12 minus 1 over 3 for this one times with uh, 1 over 3 so we have 1 over 12 minus 1 over 9 and that is equal to negative 1 over 36 Okay, uh, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.